Hey, what's going on, Facebook fam? Uh, Rodney Laney here, as you may already know, and I just have uh, uh, something I'd like to share with you guys. Uh, my friend here, Vic uh, Barroso. See? Victor Barroso. Victor Barroso. is uh, uh, So he came to one of my comedy shows, and uh, after the show, I guess he was delighted. I can say delighted in what yeah. you saw. Thought I was the funniest comic he ever seen. Am I exaggerating? Maybe a little bit. But anyway, he came up to buy my uh, CD, which, of course, I'm grateful for. And uh, so we got a little weird when he's asking me because he has to sign, uh, fill out a form to, uh, to actually purchase the uh, CD. So he said, well, can you fill it out for me? And I was thinking that, okay, I can fill it out for you. You know, of course, I want to make the sale. And I'm thinking, this is a lazy son of a... So then he has a sign, he has to sign his name, and then when he signs his name, that's when I realize. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm the butthole right now. Yeah, yeah. But it was cool, though. You know, um, my curiosity is always at a high. So I had to ask Victor what happened, and his story moved me, and I just had to share it with you guys. So go ahead and... Uh, so uh, I was born in Miami, uh, United States. Uh, my parents are Cuban. I went to visit my family, and a truck hit me head on. And I lost four friends. Uh, it sent me to a coma. Eight days, I had a punctured lung, I had a brain tra trauma. I went to a hospital with almost no blood, five blood transfusions. And after after being in coma. Uh, they gave no hope uh, for me because of the sever severity of the accident and they disconnected my machine that, that had for me breathing and right there is when I got my breath. So you mean to tell me that they said that you wasn't going to make it? No, uh, they gave no hope for me uh, because of the, the way my brain trauma, punctured lungs, I had a machine reading for me, and I topped out of the insurance, uh, which is $25,000 in Cuba. Doctors only make $33 a month, so how do you figure topping out on insurance in eight days? So they wanted to disconnect my machine because it's wasting too much uh, electricity. So when they, they disconnect it, they, pun they punched my chest and right there is when I got my my breath so I was eight days in coma I'm alive now and five days after coma they sent me to jail they came into my my room with guns um, pretty much saying I was a criminal I went to Cuba to kill people in a car I've never shot a gun I've never owned a gun and I I was still not clear my brain because uh, I had a brain trauma. So they sent me to jail, and they gave me a seven-year sentence, even with evidence that wasn't my fault. They took the evidence to Miami, my family, and Miami uh, Police Department reconstructed the video, how it happened, and they sent it to Cuba. And even when the embassy in court, they still... Gave me a seven-year sentence. Wow. I lost my right arm. I'm a, I was a righty. Now I'm a lefty. No choice. And it's difficult. But why I'm actually wanting to share this story is because Victor is in need of help. And you might want to explain to him. Uh, I have no arm left. So... Pretty much what I need is a surgery called targeted muscle renovation. What it's gonna do is gonna my nerves that are still alive, they're gonna retransfer to our brain, to my chest, and then from there to my brain. So if I think with my brain to move my right arm, it's gonna send signals to my chest like that, and then it'll map a bionic arm. And I'll work more with my uh, right, mind. right, right. A bionic arm. 
uh, which is now covered by insurance. Uh, insurance will cover a ten thousand, twenty thousand dollar arm, body powered, but they think it's cosmetic to have an arm that will do pretty much everything as a number arm. And uh, just tell them how much it costs. Uh, it's costing about two fifty, two hundred fifty thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars, which seems um doable i guess in a uh i want to say in a generous society that we have and um because you were generous and uh purchasing my cd i just felt moved and um compelled to to help you and um so that's why we're here making this video today video today we take a lot of things for granted in life, you know, the little small things. And one second your life could change. Well, now my life is hard for me to cut steak that will move, uh, tie my shoes, the little things. And I hate asking for help. And I made a GoFundMe page. Uh, there's a video there of the news, Channel 7. And I already have some friends I've already donated. And so the bottom line is here, man, is I'm um, literally wanting to give you a, a helping hand in this situation. I made a GoFundMe page, but I made it easier. Uh, I made a redirect link, a website, which is helpvictor.com, and it's going to send you to the GoFundMe page that I have, helpvictor.com. There you're going to see videos, uh, pictures of the accident, pictures in the hospital, and about a page and a half of my, my, about my story. So hopefully we can do this together. And Victor. share it on Facebook and with your friends. Please. please, please share this video. Any help, a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, anything, and it will change my life. And thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my, my, my bad.